friends, when we write, read or discuss a poem, I believe my friends, we are able to touch each other's hands. So here I am to discuss today a very beautiful, interesting, thought-provoking African poem by name Once Upon a Time. This particular poem was written by a Nigerian poet, Gabriel Okara. This poet basically speaks about the colonial rule in Nigeria and how the native Nigerians lost their hold over their rich heritage, their culture, their tradition and how they surrendered to an unknown culture and what happened next. Gabriel Okara was born in 1921 and those were the years when he had to suffer the colonial rule in his uh, life because he belonged to a very poor family. He had to self-educate himself and by the time he was a youth, he had known how poor the tradition of Nigeria had become in the hands of the British rule. It was only in 1963 that Nigeria was liberated from the British rule and had become a republic. But all those years, how people had suffered and imitated a foreign culture and that led to the birth of this particular poem, Once Upon a Time. The poem, Once Upon a Time, is set in the Nigerian country the nativity, the cultural background belongs to Nigeria and we should remember that then Nigeria was a colony to the British Empire and the British ruled Nigeria uh, right from 1901 till 1960 and it was only in the year 1963 that Nigeria was liberated from the British. So in this particular poem, uh, we have an address by a father to his little son. The father is now grown up, he is quite old and the, and the child is just uh, into the world and it knows how to react naturally to the environment or the, to the atmosphere around him. So when the father looks at the child giggling, laughing and trying to speak to him uh, beautifully like a deity, so he's so much touched that he begins to address certain important things to the child. We do not know whether the child understands what the father is saying but as readers we can imagine the pain of the father being expressed in the poem. So the poem has seven stanzas and in each stanza the poet is trying to express some kind of a pain and each pain or each feeling that he tries to express is related to the loss of nativity or the loss of the rich traditional heritage of Nigeria. So the poem begins like as if it is uh, being narrated uh, in a kind of a story that once upon a time as we say or so something like that uh, the poem begins and once upon a time uh, the father tells the child that people used to laugh with eyes, people used to laugh with their hearts but now those days have gone because now when people laugh they laugh just with their teeth as if the snake is trying to hiss the other person in front of him. Such a kind of an artificial laughter is seen in the people of, uh, on the faces of people today. And when a person looks at his own laughter into the, in the mirror, uh, mirror, he gets a, a, kind of, a kind of a negative feeling for himself. So this is what is being deeply expressed by the father to the child. And the child is still laughing at the father. And the uh, uh, father proceeds telling, there was a time when people shook their hands and that particular touch healed their entire body, mind and soul. Those days are gone. And now when people uh, raise their hands to shake with the right hand, they hold the other person's hand with the left hand to check the pockets of the person. So the greed and uh, the, the corruption that is there in the minds of the people, even while they are shaking the hands of their friends or relatives or their beloveds is beyond imagination. This is a greater devastation than the loss of any tradition. And then the poem proceeds further and the poem, poem the, the father again expresses the pain that uh, those were the days when we used to enter into somebody's house, we used to knock the doors and the people used to come with their open arms telling, please come, please sit and what would you like to have and that, ki that kind of hospitality is not to be seen anymore today. When a person today, in these days, in this modern age, welcomes a person uh, at his doors is uh, as if like he's saying a goodbye. So the welcome is equal to goodbye these days. What does this signify? So a person into somebody's house is welcome once or twice and the third time naturally the doors are shut once for all. 
And this is the kind of hospitality we get today. And this is a great pain, again imposed by some foreign culture, again imposed by some British uh, culture, which has really uh, overtaken the nativity of Nigeria. And the father again tells to his son that this is a kind of a nostalgic feeling that the poet uh, or the father has gone back to his age-old youth or his childhood, what he used to do and how people used to behave and the same feeling has come out in front of the son. Now the father has learned to wear different faces like different dresses. So there is a situation, he wears a face, there is a different situation, he wears a different face, whether it is a financial condition, whether it is a social condition, any kind of uh, a change in life, he is ready with a different face. And this has become so much of a habit for him that he has lost his original face. This is again a painful uh, thing for the father and again the child is laughing for him. And this is how the poem continues and the poet goes on expressing his deep, his grief, uh, regrets and his pain for the loss of a beautiful culture that once he had really enjoyed with his parents and grandparents. At last, as the poem comes to the end, the father is looking at the child and he tells the child, will you Dear child, dear son, teach me to laugh like you so that I regain all the peace and harmony that I had once upon a time. But I know I am unable to get it. I have, I'm a spoiled person. I'm gone. I'm gone with the winds. I'm gone into the hands of the Western culture. And the son again giggles at the father. And the son indicates the hope that there is still time, there is still time for the father to regain the originality from the son. So we have a hope in the end of the poem. So the poem completely is a narration of the Nigerian culture which was once available and now it's no more. But at the end, uh, when we see the son still laughing at the father, we have a hope that uh, we need to wait a little bit longer to get back what we have lost. So dear friends, this is a very beautiful poem which is applicable even to these days uh, where we have lost the power to laugh from the heart, where we have lost the power to shake hands from inside. So high time dear friends, we need to learn a lot from this poem which was written long back, uh, some 50-60 years ago. So hope you have liked uh, this poem by Gabriel Okara. Thank you.